Hey everyone, welcome to Quick Brick Games and welcome to a new video about LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. And we finally got a new trailer for this game and oh man, what a disaster. Uh, in my opinion, this did not go well at all with the fans because here we got this tweet from LEGO Star Wars game. A galaxy of adventure it arrives in spring 2022. Check out the brand new trailer for LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. And you can go and watch the trailer. I'm not going to be talking too much about the trailer. I'm sure it's going to be playing in the background right now. Um, I did like it. I think the graphics look really good. I think the levels look really good. I really like the new camera angles perspective. That was one thing I was kind of iffy on uh, before we saw any footage, and it looks good. Uh, it's very zoomed in. Almost feels like a Jedi Fallen Order, but in Lego form, uh, which I think was good. And I think they did a good job of balancing all the footage. Like, I think we equally saw all of the nine episodes pretty good. I really like the prequel stuff because you gotta remember the prequel levels that we have now were designed like before 2005 and then they kind of remastered them for the complete saga. Uh, so the prequel content that we have right now is like over 16 years old. So I'm really happy to see like a new modern take on those prequel levels. And we saw like Qui-Gon Jinn on Naboo like doing some force moves with, with his lightsaber and everything. And I thought that looked really good. Uh, I will say it did look kind of unpolished in terms of like the animations. Like I noticed there's one scene in particular with like Luke on Dagobah with Yoda and he's kind of jumping between the rocks. And I noticed like the jump animation, like things look a little bit choppy. And I kind of noticed a little bit of that with the gameplay trailer number one that we got a year ago now. And uh, it doesn't seem like it's been polished up too much in a year. So I don't know what's going on behind the scenes, but we're going to be getting to more of that later. Uh, but yeah, a lot of the fans are not happy about what happened here at Gamescom. Uh, yeah, this release date thing is uh, kind of a bad situation in my opinion. So I actually made this tweet back on August 20th, a few days ago. I said, imagine the new Gamescom 2021 LEGO Star Wars Skywalker Saga footage ends with coming in spring 2022. Then I used the laughing emoji. I said that as a complete joke. I didn't think it would actually happen. And that's what happened. And I retweeted that. I predicted this as a joke. And uh, even people in the comments of the original tweet were like, oh yeah, there's no way uh, they'll actually do that. They'll give us a solid release date after all this time. And that's what they did. They gave us another release window. And the reason why the release window is bad is that we have no idea when they're going to give us news. Like, I guess this is better than just a vague 2022. But with spring 2022, with that window, we have no idea when we're going to get news again. They could wait all the way up until April again if they wanted to and possibly give us another delay. Like, this is the exact same situation that we were in a year ago. So basically, we've, we've made no progress really since E3 2019 in terms of like news updates about this game because we still haven't learned anything about this game since E3 2019 like over two years ago now uh, because back then we had interviews we had uh, you know gameplay uh, kind of shown behind the scenes but the big thing was we got information through interviews and stuff about like the gameplay mechanics and everything like that and they've kind of been showing us some of that now but they haven't really been telling us anything more like we really haven't learned anything new about this game since E3, which is really disappointing. As I said before this video came out, uh, in my previous video, which is absolutely wrong, like in that video I was very optimistic about the game. I really did think we were going to get it, and basically that video is uh, pretty much a joke now because I was completely wrong. Um, I really wanted to know about online play. I wanted to see a gameplay demo about this game. I wanted to see if this game's gonna have a mumbling or grunting option or not, and we got none of that. We just got another trailer similar to last year, and we got another spring release date window just like last year so basically this is the same exact repeat this was the worst case scenario i think i even said a worst case scenario in my last video so the worst case would be we just get another trailer and another release window and that's exactly what we got so yeah we pretty much got the worst case scenario here which is really unfortunate so next up, I actually want to go to Reddit just to see kind of people's reaction about this game because I tried to go to Twitter, but most of it was just a really popular tweet. So it was sort of hard to sort through the, you know, just everyday people tweeting about the game. And uh, so here we go. The first post I see here, me, as soon as they say spring 2022, my disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much how I felt here. Let's scroll down. There's the official map. That looks really cool. We're going to have another video analyzing the actual gameplay trailer, but uh, yeah, that does look really cool. Uh, a new trailer, but at what cost? You got a new LEGO Star Wars trailer. Yes, but what did it cost? Spring 2022. A nice Avengers Infinity War meme there. And uh, yeah, I don't really think this was worth the wait. Like, we waited a full year, and all we get was basically the same thing we got last year, but with a little bit of new footage. Like, they sh should have really given us a gameplay demo with this big wait. Uh, but let's continue to scroll through here. The whole sub right now waiting. Oh, that was, I guess, before the event actually started. Delays game to spring two years in a row. Hey, she can't do that. Shoot her or something. <laughs> oh, man, there's a lot of good memes here. Uh, they fly now. Yeah, we did get Ray flying. That was a pretty cool meme. 
And uh, so yeah, Coruscant I guess is not on the map. Yeah, again, I'm gonna have to analyze that a little bit more closely in another video. I was hoping for a specific release date. Why are you here? Well, at least we got a new look at the gameplay and at the map. Visibly depressed. So yeah, a lot of people are not very excited about this delay. And uh, when it gets right down to it, I've said this before, and um, it's not about when the game's coming out. Obviously, we don't want it to come out unfinished to be a crappy game or whatever. Uh, but it's really about the lack of communication because this game was originally scheduled to come out October 20th, 2020. Well, let's let's scroll back a little bit. This game was originally scheduled to come out in just 2020. That's when they originally announced it, right? So then we get to May of 2020 and it actually leaks out from a official Star Wars YouTube channel that it is supposed to come out October 20th, but then they quickly deleted that, removed that out of it. Uh, so we know the original planned release date for this game, at least internally at TT Games, was October 20th, 2020. So then Gamescom 2020 comes around and they delay it to Spring 2021. So we're like, okay, that's unfortunate. But then nothing happens for the next several months. We get into March, which is Spring, and we still don't have anything. And then April, they delay it again, but this time they don't even give us a date. They say it's not coming out in spring anymore. So that was unfortunate. So then we wait even more. And finally, here at Gamescom 2021, the full year since the last gameplay trailer, they give us another trailer, and it just says spring 2022, an exact repeat of last year. So now we have no idea what's going on. It's probably going to be at least another six-month wait until they get anything. I think if they were uh, nice to us, they would maybe give us something before the end of the year, but... With how things have been going, I don't really see that happening, so we could be waiting. Hopefully we'll hear something in February or March. I think the game will really come out in spring, hopefully. Uh, maybe around May the 4th, we could be waiting all the way till then. Uh, I don't think May the 4th is on a Tuesday this year, but maybe they'll kind of change their schedule to reach that. Who knows? Um, but uh, yeah, this is really unfortunate. Just waiting, and we didn't really get anything new. No extensive gameplay demo. Again, no explanation of online play or any of those additional details. No... Uh, developer talking over the game just another gameplay trailer and uh, I will say again the voice acting was kind of bad as well and I think the animations look choppy uh, so those are two kind of criticisms I have but I think the game overall is going to be really good so hopefully they'll be able to polish this up hopefully they'll communicate better but I'm not holding my breath I think all their Twitter accounts and stuff will be silent for the next several months so we'll just kind of have to wait uh, but in the meantime I'm going to have videos I'll be covering more in depth with this trailer I'll be making all the videos I've been making mini kit guides videos about other LEGO games until we get to spring 2022 where we'll hopefully get some more information and hopefully this game will finally come out uh, but I will say like what is going on with the development of this game. Like, how did they ever think, like back in 2019, that this game was going to come out in 2020 if they were that far behind? And then a year ago, why did they think they could release the game in spring 2021? Because that was even after. Like, you could say, like, you could maybe give them an excuse, like, oh, because of the COVID situation that caused the delay. Uh, but even after that, in Gamescom last year, back in August 2020, that was, you know, COVID was already going on. They had already adapted to working at home. And uh, back then, they told us the game was coming out in spring 2021. And now they're going to need an additional year on top of that. So it's like, how did they ever think the game was going to come out in spring 2021 back then? Like, the game must have been really far behind. And they were just kind of giving us an optimistic release date. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, they're really bad, I think, at estimating how far along they are and how far along things are going to take with this development of this game. Uh, but, yeah, let me know your thoughts. Were you more excited or were you more disappointed like me? Again, I'll have a more positive video where we're actually analyzing all the cool features of this game coming up shortly. But, uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts on this and uh, let me know what you think about when we're going to hear news again. I really want to hear your thoughts on all that. But other than that, be sure to subscribe, be notified when the newest videos come out. Like this video if you enjoyed it, dislike it if you disagree, and I'll see you guys next time here on Quick Break Games.